accidentally hit the power button. There's my nick in the crank right there. I just did with that three pound sledge. Should be able just to clean that up. I've got a little bit on the side here from that other cylinder. See if I can't get that nut off. And uh, maybe pull that piston out. This one's hitting right down there, so I kind of have to, actually if I push it back through and pop that pin out, I'll be fine. So I think that one's ready to go. And then I don't know if I can get to that bolt there. Whew. This one over here I haven't tried yet, but it's ready to go. And a little nickage on the block down there. Sure hope I don't screw this thing up. This is insane. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that one's... Huh. Look at the... Uh, I don't know if that's corrosion. Or if that's... Uh, just damage to the piston itself. Sure looks like it. It's chewed up all the way around. I'll be damned. A little chunkage missing out of that one. That's not good. Alrighty. We're gonna, uh, gonna press on or go inside. Either one. You'll find out in a minute. Actually, we're gonna run them out. Let's see if we can't just. that one back in a little bit. Don't want to go too much because it's kind of a spring or uh, what you call it? Compressor. And let's take this one. She's having fun watching me fuddle around here. No, that's gotta come up more shit. She it. Because that's the bottom of that pin is sitting in there. So I can't put, can't tap that out anymore. Damn it! I feel good a uh, a ring compressor. <sighs> I'm gonna need one anyway. That cap's ready to come off. Like that. A couple of these bearings have come off as well. Don't know if it's supposed to do that or what. Hmm. Anyway, I'm sitting here thinking and pointing the camera at something else. Uh, we'll keep pressing on. This one's going to be a pain. I think that's the. Uh, that's one of the bad ones. Look at all that junk inside there. Yeah, that's one of the bad ones. Cause these should be okay. It's these top ones that are going to be a mess. And these two, just because all the rust in there. I was talking to the guy that gave me the motor, and he says he uh, had a leak in the back of his '77 Trans Am that this motor was in at the time, and. Uh, couldn't find the drain plug, so we just took a punch, punched a hole in the forward corner of the, uh, the trunk area to drain it. Well, you didn't know it, but it went right into the gas tank. So all that water drained into his fuel. And then he cranked and cranked and cranked on this thing. Couldn't get it to fire, so he parked it. Came out in the middle of winter, and his carburetor exploded because it was full of water, and it froze. So I'm wondering how much of that water got into these cylinders in, and that's where we're seeing all this rust. And then this thing's sitting for 19 some years in the back of a barn that was leaking. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, sure hope I don't have to pick up a ring compressor for those. I'm gonna have, probably have to. Huh. Let's just see what happens. I don't had it all the way out. Yeah, that's solid. It's gonna get bored over anyway. It's not 
going in anymore. Okie dokie. I have to borrow one, I think, maybe from Mark. I'm sure he's got one. Alright, shut the camera off. And, uh,. Yeah, I'll probably pull a couple more of these out, but I'm not going to bother showing it. You've seen how what I'm having to go through, so I'm sure there'll be an update video shortly. There you go, a little shot of me for once. Whew. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Bye bye.